Coming up in Democast Media, I'm going to answer your questions about the Meet Now feature in Skype. G'day, I'm Paul from Democast Media, and the main theme of this channel is to show people how to use visual communication tools to get things done. And given the situation we find ourselves in with the pandemic, people are being forced to use video uh, conferencing tools when previously they may not have had any interest. I previously did a video on Meet Now and I received a heap of questions, really good questions on how to use it. The purpose of this video is to answer those questions and give you a bit of a, a FAQ uh, resource, if you will, to better understand how this works. But before I do that, let's just have a quick rundown of what Meet Now is. So within Meet Now, well, what it is, you can have instant meetings with anyone, whether they have a Skype account or not. This is a real game changer for Skype. So what you do is when you're in Skype, you'll notice that there's this button called Meet Now. So you click that and um, what you're able to do is to invite people to this instant meeting through a variety of ways. You can either copy a link and email that. You can click here and you, you have four different ways of uh, sharing that, including Outlook and Gmail. Uh, alternatively, you can just start the call and you can add people through here and start searching them by name. Again, whether they're a contact or not, you can have an instant meeting with everyone really super handy. To kick things off, uh, Ali asks, I recently lost my job due to the school closures and I want to use Meet Now for online tutoring. I'm wondering, can I share my screen to show, for example, a PowerPoint or a web page that I have open with the other participant? So I'm really sorry to hear about your job loss there and I hope you've been able to get back on your feet. Now, you can uh, share your screen with another participant very easily. Um, so if I'll, I'll show you uh, in a previous, the previous video that I did about Meet Now. So I'm scrubbing along. So when you've actually got your guest on the session, you're gonna have some controls at the bottom of the screen there. And you'll see that the two overlapping squares at the bottom, that's where you trigger sharing your screen. So you'll easily be able to share a PowerPoint, a document, a web page if you want to do a demonstration that way with your guests. So uh, really great question there, Ali. Next question comes from Daniela Munoz. Uh, does it have break rooms like Zoom? And also, when you schedule a meeting through Gmail, can it go into your Google Calendar? So for those who are not familiar with a break room in Zoom, it's the digital equivalent of splitting up your group, uh, or yeah, <laughs> splitting up your participants into separate groups. And, and you might have separate hosts for each one of those. So that the person, the host, can jump into those different groups and or, or, or broadcast a message to those different segments and then bring them back together again. Um, Daniela, uh, Meet Now for Skype is not that kind of offering. Um, so at this stage, it doesn't appear that um, Meet Now will meet your needs. If that is important to you, uh, that you will have to use a paid version of Zoom or something similar. You can obviously invite people through Gmail, um, but you would need to copy and paste a link manually and put it into your uh, Google uh, Meeting. Uh, but it's not going to automatically generate a meeting uh, for Google Calendar like, like it would for, say, Zoom, if it would integrate with Outlook. And I believe it does the same for Google Calendar, um, but it, it doesn't do it automatically. Okay, so the next question is from David Burke. Um, if you are recording a chat, can you save the video elsewhere from your chat bar? So onto your PC, for example, um, after 30 days. So. David, the answer is yes. So uh, I did a bit of a test on this myself. So I recorded a, a test session, a dummy session here, and it sits in within the chat. So what you can do is click on those three buttons there, uh, press save as, and you can give it a name and save it as an MP4 file in 720p. Uh, now, something to bear in mind there, David, is that the quality of the video is not great. It's gonna, it may look quite pixelated, so please bear that in mind if you are repurposing that video. The, the, the audio will sound fine, so if, if all you want is just to have a, a, a video, a, a recording of that session, you wanna hear what went on, it, it will do the job. 
Uh, Jessica Medina asks, do you know if someone, if someone doesn't have Skype, can they access the meeting via a web browser? Uh, what it does is it triggers a Skype for web client. So it will pop up uh, the web version of Skype for that person if they're using the desktop. Um, now, if they're using, the, if they're trying to join on their phone, it will, I believe it will trigger a download uh, to use the Skype app on the phone and then they can join that way. But essentially, if you're just working from the desktop, it, it triggers a web client. So hopefully that answers your question, Jessica. Uh, another question by, from Let's Go Outdoors. I'm on a Mac, but don't use Gmail. And some of the folks I would like to connect with don't use Gmail. Can I use still use this feature? So um, let's go outdoors. I'm assuming you're meaning sharing with other, sharing your meeting with other people. So if I go back to uh, the Meet Now feature, if uh, I'm starting a new meeting, I can invite people using a link, or I can invite using uh, Outlook as well. You can share it to your contacts or, or simply copy a link like that and you can paste that into your preferred email provider, your email service. So I trust that it answers your question there. Uh, question from Memdu. What is the limit of participants in a video call or how many users can join the meeting in the same time with or without video call? up to 50 people can be part of a Meet Now session, which is really handy. And there doesn't appear to be a limit on that session. So you can have heaps of people on a call. So if you wanna um, meet up with people for virtual uh, dinner, or virtual drinks uh, online, if that's what you'd like to do, you can do that uh, without limits uh, using Meet Now. So great question from Memdu. Okay, the next question is from Sarah. How do I pin myself as the main video so look that's a really good question it's this is a really basic feature I think and it, it from what I can tell it doesn't appear that you can pin yourself as the host at the center of the video you, you will need to use something like zoom that there, there you've got a few different options uh, much more than what meet now offers in that regard a uh, question here from Zulfan he's new to the facility uh, he's wondering whether uh, could the link that the host shared be used by someone else uh, previously. That is all the questions we have. And look, if there is anything else that remains unanswered for you, you can go to the um, Microsoft community right here. So if you go to answers.microsoft.com, um, and I'll just take a step back here, um, you can go and, and ask a question uh, by simply clicking on the Skype icon and, and post it here for free. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why. If you have any questions or concerns about the Meet Now feature, leave your comments in the section below. And again, if you are interested in how you can use visual communication tools to get things done, then subscribe to the channel. I also do things around uh, voiceover, how to use Camtasia, snake at those types of tools so if that's a thing would love to see you back on the channel hey thank you thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you next time